Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today we are going to be altering this box. It's a um, hexagon box, another hexagon. What do you know? Anyway, um, this is something that I've had for years and it had, it was covered with this um, sort of a, a, an upholstery type fabric, but it's very vintage looking. And um, I had added this to the top of it. It has a, it's sort of a cardboard type box. It's not wood, but it's very nicely finished on the inside. So I don't have to do anything to the inside. We're going to today just concentrate on the top and the sides of this box. I'm not going to do a whole lot of altering on this. I don't think. Um, I, I have a trim that I'm going to be putting on this and that's about it on the outside. But um, I'm going to just real quick read a quote um, and I, I was thinking this morning and I've, I've been feeling a lot of uh, under a lot of stress and pressure lately um, just with trying to work and trying to keep my Etsy shop going and my channel and um, because this is my happy place, I you know want to make sure that I'm doing my videos and um, keeping my Etsy shop going. Now, I notice I'm struggling trying to keep the Etsy shop going because I feel like I'm not getting my stuff into my shop quickly enough and getting it in there after I do my videos or before I do my videos or post them. And so um, this last couple of months have been a little bit rough on my Etsy shop. So I have to figure out how to get that moving again uh, because that is a great source of income for me. Um, so I just have to make sure that I'm concentrating on that while I'm doing my other things. Um, and the last couple of months I feel like I'm not sort of living up to my um, my goals there so um, gotta figure that out <laughs> um, so anyway I'm going to try and just so you guys know I'm going to try this weekend I have a, a couple of days off I'm gonna try and get my Etsy shop filled with new items that I've been working on and what I need to do is I need to take a day not doing videos but just completing some projects that I have um, that need to get into my shop and then I can just kind of show them to you guys in uh, videos as I get them done um, and I think that's kind of going to help me maybe to um, start getting back on top of things again but it frustrates me and so I've told myself this morning one day at a time Carol you can only do this one day at a time and so I found a quote it's a very short simple quote and it says this day this moment this breath one day at a time and so I'm gonna keep that in mind as I'm trying to get through this day I do have to work today, so I um, and then I have a visitor coming over in a little bit, so I don't have a whole lot of time today. This was a last minute. Somebody called and you know uh, said, "Hey, I'm stopping by," and so that kind of put a, a big change in my day. So anyway, um, that's fine, but um, it just kind of altered my day a little bit. So. I'm not going to get as much done today as I had hoped before I go to work. But anyway, so I thought I would try and do a quick, semi-quick video on altering this box. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a bunch of, of items inside the box. I'm going to make it look very vintagey. So that's kind of my goal with this. And we'll see what we come up with. Um, I had a conversation with my friend Kim. And we kind of, she helped me to make some decisions on some stuff that um, that I, I wanted to do to the top of the box. And I think we decided what what needs to go there. So <laughs> um, I think I think I'm good. Um, I just always trust trust Kim's judgment. She's an awesome awesome crafter. And um, we were just talking, and and I asked her what she thought. And so she kind of gave me her opinions, and um, 
I agreed so we're going to use that um, decision on completing this project so I don't ask for help very often but this was something I don't want to mess up this box I want it to be just gorgeous and this will be going into my Etsy shop so um, that was the other thing I want to make sure that I'm doing it um, you know well so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, this is some sheer uh, fabric that I have. It came from a curtain that um, Gail over at Fava 4 had sent me. It's got a very light imprint of a rose pattern on it and it's very pretty. It's kind of sh shimmery and I'm just going to make a sort of a, a, a bow at the top and I think I'm going to use two pieces of this. So I'm going to take this other one and add it in here as well. And then I just have to find something to sort of tie it up at the bottom because I want it to be like that. And you guys know I'm not the greatest at bows, but I do my best and I think they come out very pretty when I'm done, but I just don't really have a, a, a system as far as, as creating bows. So I'm just going to take a piece of this uh, lace that I have here. I'm going to cut a piece of this off and I'm going to tie it around this bottom section of this. Let me get this stuff out of the way and move this over. So I'm just going to take this and tie it around the bottom where I sort of gathered everything together and get it on there nice and tight and hopefully I have everything together here this is kind of a stretchy lacy fabric that I'm tying the knot with so there we go oh of course I didn't quite get it right of course I should have checked that before I tied the actual knot. So we're going to snip this off and we're going to do this over again. Okay. All right, let's try this again. that one and that one I think I just need to tie it up a little bit higher than I had it and we're gonna take this again Hopefully I can kind of pull some of that through a little bit so that I can fluff it up a little bit more. I just want this fluffy bow to kind of come up through the center of it to create something to work around. So that's kind of the purpose of this bow. So, I just want something like that, something fluffy and, and uh, vintage-y looking. So, I think I don't even really need to cut anything off of the bottom of that. I'm just going to kind of glue it like right there on the top. I'm going to need lots and lots of glue. So we can hold this down like that. I'm just going to press it down real good and hold it. And then of course I'll be gluing uh, flowers and things around it as well. 
and I took pictures of how I had this set up yesterday and I think I deleted those pictures off my camera. I just realized that. I think I deleted them last night thinking, oh, I already showed uh, Kim what I was doing so I don't need those pictures anymore, but I actually did need them. But let's see, let me get into Messenger and I have those pictures. I did have those pictures in Messenger. What did I? Oh, here they go. All right. So, this way at least I kind of know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this flower, which pretty much matches this. It's the same fabric. And I want to take that and kind of put it right next to that uh, bow. And it's going to be up over this little knot here that I have in the center. And it's nice to have that little knot there because it kind of tells me how where to work from. Gives me a center point so I don't get this all off kilter. So, and then I made some of my rolled roses here as well. And I've got another rolled rose here that I did. This is a flatter one that I did here that I want to get on here as well. But I think the first thing that I'm going to do, and this is going to change it up a little bit, is I'm going to put this one next to the other big one. So we're going to get our big ones right in the center. And I'll put that right there. And, oh gosh, I'm about to run out of glue. And I, I have to remember where I put my new glue sticks that I bought. Oh my goodness, I hope I don't run out. That would be devastating. And I think I'm going to put this one maybe right about there. I'll try and go easy with my glue here with the rest of these flowers because I still have the, the trim that I need to put around here. Okay, and then this one's going to go right here. I love these handmade rolled roses. They are so pretty. And I love this fabric that I made these out of. It's just a chiffon, but they just came out so nicely. And I have another flower here that's in a little bit different fabric, but I wanted to add something a little different in here. And then I have some of my rose gold uh, rolled roses here as well. So, um, but I do think I want to put this flower in here somewhere because it just kind of adds a little bit of a different kick of color. But it's a... Uh, not a crazy color. Okay, and I also have a couple of little lace applique flowers and things. And we have some bling. So, okay. So I think, let's see, how do I want to make this go here? I want to get all of my big flowers on here first and then kind of work around those. I don't need to use all of them necessarily. I kind of like that coming around there. So we're going to put this one right here. And get the glue strings off. Okay. And then I want to take, let's see, maybe if I put, I'm going to put this little flat piece of an applique here somewhere too. That looks pretty right there. Or maybe one of these. So I've got a couple of these that I'm going to put in here. I think I'll start right back here with this one. And let me go with a couple of my rolled roses as well. And you guys can see we're going to do this fairly quickly 
Um, I, it shouldn't take us long at all to complete this box because I already have a good idea of what I want it to look like in the end. So I was prepared this time. And I have my picture on my phone if I need to refer to anything. I think I'll put one of these right here. Like that. And you guys can refer to my videos. I've got videos on these rolled roses that I did out of ribbon. And I have a video um, that I did on these flowers. And I have not put that out. Uh, have I put that? I don't think I've put that one out yet. I may have. I can't remember. Um, but you can just refer to those videos if you want to know how to make the flowers. Um, they're relatively simple to make. So and a lot of fun. And I think I want two roses here at the top, so I'm going to add another one of these rolled ribbon roses right there. And that's it for the top there. Um, and then let's see. Do I want to put another one? I don't want to get too many of these and make it look kind of awkward. So I think I'm done with those. Um, I don't feel like I need really another one of those either. So I think I just want to throw in some of these gold colored um, flowers. I think I'm going to save that one though because that one and that one because I might use those or one of them anyway uh, around this front side. So I think I'm just going to go with this little applique flower and I'm going to lay it right there. And This needs a little more glue on it to hold it down. I'm glad it didn't have that extra glue on it, honestly. So, there we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and start on the side. And you can see I've got this beautiful, beautiful trim that I got from my friend Deanna Grooms. This is actually chain that's on this piece of trim. Isn't it gorgeous? And it is perfect for this box. So we're going to put that down around the bottom of the box here and um, really, really make it look nice. So I'm going to start right here in the front and pray that I don't run out of glue. And I probably need to stand up so that I make sure I get this on here straight. Just like that. And we'll just turn it as we go. Just like that. It's always easy to get it on straight when you're putting it around the bottom of a box like this because you have, you know, your line to go on at the bottom. Okay. Get this little piece on there. And then we'll start taking it around the other side. We're right here. I just love this box. It's so vintagey looking. And I've been wanting to finish it for quite some time. I actually put that um, lace on the top of it probably at least a year ago. I've had this box for at least five years sitting there waiting to be done, but I didn't want to do it because I just didn't have a good idea of what I wanted it to look like when it was, darn it, I keep dropping my glue gun, of what I wanted it to look like when I was done. 
So I just kept, I kept taking it out and putting it back down and taking it out, putting it back down. And so that was just, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. So, okay, hold on. Let me snip this real quick. Uh-oh. Nice. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Jeff's working on some um, wood projects, and she's he's doing one for me that is very, very cool. Okay. And um, so it's super cool, and I'm going to show it to you guys when I get his finished part. Um, we're going to do a little bit of embellishing on it, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, and I didn't put that to the back. I put it to the side, but that's okay. All right, so that's what that looks like on the bottom. Very pretty, very, very classy, I think. I have one little piece of this chain left. I hope I can find something to put that on. I'm sure I can. <laughs> um, okay, and then I think what I want to do is I'm thinking maybe I'll put this little flower sort of... Let me put this up like this. I think I want to put this flower sort of like that. To dress up the front so we might as well just go ahead since we know what we want to do how do you guys like this I'm actually so prepared for this video that it is going to be done in no time so that looks really pretty right there I love it I love this box it is so gorgeous and then we've got um, I wonder if I put, maybe I'll put that next to it. I think I'm going to put that on there too. I love this little flower. I'm going to put that next to it, sort of hanging over the trim. I think that looks really pretty. Yeah. Okay, so now I want to put this piece of bling in here. I love, love, love this piece of bling. Look at how gorgeous that is. This is one that I got from... Um, I think I got this from Deanna. I'm not sure if it was Deanna or Gail over at Fava 4. I've had it for a little bit and I've had it put aside. This is probably from Gail, I'm guessing, because I think I've had it put aside with this box for quite some time. So, um, let's see. We just need to find a great spot for this so that everybody can see it. I think maybe this side needs needs something. I have this little one as well, but I was thinking that might go nice sort of in the top somewhere. It kind of matches that little pink one there. Yeah, I think I'll put that one there. I like that. And I'm going to put this one right over here. Put plenty of glue on there and we're just going to pop it underneath that flower a little bit so that it the majority of it sticks out and that looks very very pretty oh and I also have a key I wanted to put this key in there somewhere at the top I think between those little roses would be nice yeah So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom side of the key, pull those roses apart so we don't get glue on them, and just like that, get that other little bit of glue off the bottom of that. There. Okay. So there's that, and the last thing we're going to add, and this is what Kim and I talked about, was which kind of um, pearl trim I wanted to use. 
and we decided that this was going to be the prettiest because it really matches the rolled roses here. It's a rose gold trim that she sent me. And I think if I put that around the top, it's just going to really set the whole thing off. So we're just going to start placing these pearls in a couple of places. And gluing them down. And we're just going to whimsically place this kind of around the box. I want to get it so that it lays nicely. Maybe we'll go back this way first. Today, our, our thing is we've got tree trimmers out in the neighborhood. The city is trimming all of the large trees in the area, which they do quite often. So today we have tree trimmers instead of lawnmowers. <laughs> so you guys always get something in my videos. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way because it seems to want to lay down the best this way. So we'll put a little dot of glue there. And we'll just keep kind of wrapping this until we get it, get enough on there that it's exactly the way we want it. Put some glue right there and pop that pearl down. And I think I'm going to pop that pearl right there. need to unwind this a little bit more. Okay, just so that I don't get stuck anywhere. Okay, and then I want to kind of wind it somehow in this bow as well. We'll put a little pearl right there. out of glue again. I've got one glue stick left and then I've got to find my new glue. Oh gosh, I have no idea where I put it. I can't believe I do that to myself. Well, I can believe I do it to myself, but I don't know why I do that to myself. And we'll put that one right there. Oops, I didn't let it get dry enough. Oh, boys and their toys. They, I know they play with those saws out there and they think they're so, they're so macho. They like to just make noise. <laughs> I always think, you know, I feel sorry for anybody that might not feel well when they're out there doing that stuff, you know, they're trying to rest and here you got all these noisy saws and things going on. I mean, the work's got to get done, obviously. Okay, that's, I think, all I'm going to do there. And 
and then maybe just a kind of a a loopy one to put a nice bundle of pearls right there. And I'm just going to press that in there. And I wonder if it would be good to press it in there with a flower on top like that. There. Okay, you guys. I think I think we've got it done. I love it. So it looks really, really pretty. If you guys can see that, that's the top. There we go. That's the top. And I think it came out really, really nicely. And that's what the front looks like. I wonder if it might be a good idea just to kind of add that color into the front to add one of these in with these two flowers. I think that looks nice. Yeah, I think that kind of finishes off that, that bit right there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there and put that flower right there and there we go. So that's it you guys. That's my beautiful, beautiful vintage box. I love it. Love it, love it. And I will put some pictures in um, at the end of the video so you guys can see um, what the, the actual finished product looks like a little bit better. Um, I know you can see it here, but I think, um, don't look at my messy table. I think that you'll be able to see in the still photos how, you know, all of the details a little bit better as well. So that is it, you guys. It came out gorgeous and it didn't take me very long and I have a finished piece. So thanks for watching today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you can get notifications and hit that notification bell, obviously so that you can get notifications when I do future videos. And I've got a lot of projects planned, um, so many that are swimming around in my mind um, that I'm going to be working on. Oh, I forgot my bee. The bee was going to go in there. Oh, I still need to put my bee on. She's got to be a part of this project. And I think... I think our bee is going to go right there. Sorry, you guys. I totally forgot this. Anyway, um, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and thank you to those who have already subscribed to my channel. You guys are awesome. And you don't know what it does for me just to have you guys around. I've got the most awesome group of subscribers. Um, and you guys just, you're everything to me. So... Um, thanks a lot to everybody, and again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Make a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. I really, really, those comments, you guys have no idea how much they help me and help my channel and help the uh, get me in the right algorithm so that I can get more um, subscribers. So I really need you guys to come through for me. Get over to my Etsy shop, do some shopping. I need that going on right now too. I've got to get that shop, whoops, I've got to get that shop buzzing again. Um, it has been great to me, but you know, totally my fault. I haven't been getting as many items, new items in there as I should be. And so I need to get busy and really get to work um, putting putting some new um, uh, pieces and projects and things in there for you guys to, to buy. And so I will be working on that. Um, I should have some new things in, to, in my shop by hopefully this afternoon before I go to work, um, I hope. And so hopefully by the time this video comes out, you guys will have... Um, uh, you'll be able to go over there and you'll see what's what's going on in my shop. So anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. Take care. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay well. And um, 
take care of yourselves um, before you take care of anybody else because, you know, you can't help anybody else unless you take care of yourself first. So thanks a lot, you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.